Well, in the past, they've come in all shapes and sizes and now they're the smallest they've ever been. But with so many on the market, how would you know what camcorder works best and what gives you quality home movies? Well, with the help of some local experts, Frank Pangallo road tested some of Adelaide's top brands, including those that are easy to operate. Certainly can. Hollywood in your home. They're fantastic. You can obtain broadcast quality. We've been shooting home movies for over a century, from film to videotape. And now, whiz-bang little cameras which record in high definition on cards the size of a thumbnail. Ease of use, the truth is, any one of these cameras are easy to use. They all have the auto mode. You pick these cameras up, stick it on auto, and you're good to go. You've got a hard drive, nice and simple, long, long record times, up to 24 hours. You've got, uh, you've got memory card camcorders, which you can record onto a 32 gig disc at about four hours. And you've also got your um, flash memory, which are 32 gig and expandable up to 32 gig cards as well. Is your head spinning yet? They've all got anti-shake systems, so you can pick them up and they cut all your camera wobbles out. They have things like face detection, so if you have a person in a shot, it actually focuses in and actually frames the person, so you know that the person's actually going to be sharp. They've got things like uh, you know, face recognition technology in some of them, so you can actually detect faces and you can actually search the hard drive for people's faces that you may know. Oh yes, it's a Sony. This is a top of the range model. This one here features 5.1 surround sound. It's also got a GPS locator, so travelling on a big holiday, going around the world, you can actually come home, log your video onto Google Maps and find out exactly where you are travelling. It's a hard drive version, it does record up to 24 hours of full HD recording. Um, 5.1. Sean Crawshaw sells the new generation of cameras at Diamond's store. While they sound complicated, Sean says they're almost idiot-proof. They all produce great cameras and quality on any product that you buy now in high definition, you'll be very, very pleased with what you, what you get. You can get a high definition camcorder for under $1,000 now, which for most people this is affordable. The home camera now that shoots in high definition is almost double or more the quality of what they used to be on VHS days. Alex Fragnito is a cameraman with 7 News and Today Tonight. He uses an industry standard Panasonic which shoots on tape, but admits he's blown away by the new camcorders. I'm probably going out on a limb saying that, but it, you can get it to match the quality of our news and ENG, electronic news gathering style cameras at work. So, what do you buy? Well, we asked Alex to road test some of the top cameras made by Canon, Panasonic, JVC and Sony. His verdict shortly. Now be amazed by these pictures, the high definition and taken with, would you believe, this $500 Panasonic Lumix stills camera. Compact digital cameras which can record in high definition video, 720p. They're also waterproof, drop proof, so you could probably replace your digital video camera with a photo camera and video as well, all in one. To complete the whole package, you also now get editing software to give your movies that Hollywood look. All the time, you know, Mum and Dad didn't use a lot of video, um, and that's something that we wanted to do um, with our kids growing up, so almost in, oh, three or four times a week the camera comes out with the kids growing and, and doing different things, so we are able to capture it. Andrew Coburn, a product trainer with Panasonic, says cutting his home movies on his PC is effortless and quick. We use the one that came with the camera because you can put titles, edits over the top, you can merge scenes together, you can partially sort of trim things up a little bit, and, and that's good enough what we want it to do, so yeah. Hollywood at home. That's it. <laughs> now to those cameras tested by Alex Fragnito. What I like about them is they're lightweight, compact, ease of use, they're fast to start up. Um, the, certainly the SD, the solid state, and the hard drive, uh, those cameras, they don't take much time at all to be on the ready. Battery life is something that all the manufacturers need to deal with. They either need to make their batteries bigger or they need to, uh, you know, make the uh, technology of their cameras use less power. But his favourite is the tape-driven Canon HV30, even though he says tape is going the way of the dodo. I have a couple of those and they're 
fantastic cameras. I, I actually use them for work. Most people that are watching the news at night don't even know that I've used that instead of a $50,000 camera. But if you're in doubt, this advice from Andrew Coburn. Find something that's easy to use, try and get the store guy to demonstrate it. We, we found it was uh, a lot easier when, once it was demonstrated. Um, and find out what's going to connect with at home. Um, again, that's what we found was easy. And again, you'll find some of those details.